Aquarius, hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in and see what messages Spirit has for you. Thank you, Spirit. Ah, Eight of Cups. So, ooh, the Lover's Card, Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the emperor so it feels like right now is a time where you want to be mindful of what it is that is no longer keeping you in a place of desire it means that whatever habits or programs that are holding you where you currently are you need to be mindful of what needs to be you need to let go of okay there's something in your life that I feel like there's a belief around it. There's a belief around it that's keeping you there. And again, this is generally a program, okay? So anything that you think about that, you know, your mind makes up that, you know, it's like you want to achieve something, but then there's that but, you know? I really want to do this but. That but is the limiting belief. You want to be mindful of that. You want to walk away from that because it's holding you back from your desires. I can see here that there's a soulmate on the table, but I also see that there's a big decision that needs to be made. But this decision is only going to be best made if you are in alignment with your higher self. Your higher self comes from releasing old habits and patterns that don't support you on your journey. It means that anything that you do must make you feel joyful and excited and passionate. If that is gone, then there is something that needs to change. Okay, there's a, there's a again, a, a habit or a behavior pattern, something that needs to be course corrected so that you can get back on track and in alignment with your higher self to uh, achieve and attract all this abundance that's waiting for you, okay? Once you become in alignment with your higher self, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the downloads and the appropriate action steps that are gonna come from the universe. Again, this is inspired action, action that is inspired from your heart, which is really a download from the universe, okay? Any action that is taken that is not inspired is action that is trying to compensate for a feeling of lack. But the more that you really look at your life and see what it is that you need to walk away from uh, that is holding you back from this, you won't feel that void. You won't feel that lack. But again, whenever we don't listen to our intuition and we continuously do things that we know aren't helping us, it's like literally turning our backs towards our, our self and our guides and angels. And we're trying to do things our own way, right? How often does that work, right, Aquarius? So it's important to know in order to gain your power back, it's important to make sure you follow your intuition and apply discipline towards the things that you know are needed to be done. And remember, discipline are things that we know we need to do that we don't want to do, right? It's a discipline, right? But there are a few things in, in life that we need to have discipline about. One of the big ones is exercise. We don't always want to do it, but it's very necessary, especially for the HSPs, okay? Like myself, if you're a highly sensitive uh, empath, know that exercise is, is, is crucial. You have to because we're too sensitive. Not too sensitive in a fact where we're too sensitive, but we're so sensitive that we are absorbing energy all around us. And if we do not exercise, we are not we are not clearing that energy away and it starts to get build up almost like almost like bathroom scum on the tile you know what I mean it doesn't it doesn't feel good it feels nasty inside and we're unable to make clear decisions but that's a discipline right because we don't always want to do it and we don't always feel like wanting to do it but I can see here that look at if you look at your life and you really think okay you know what these habits they're not serving me they're not helping me at all they're hindering me as a matter of fact and you clean that up and you clean up those habits and you walk away from again what it is that you need to walk away from that's when your adventurous self comes forward that's when your spirit lights up that's when again that inspiration will flow back into your life because you made the right choice and making the right choice puts us in alignment with ourself again with our with our highest self and that feeling is priceless because that is what we're here to do we're here to you know have a purpose we're here to uh, create we're here to move forward and whenever we are not doing so because of old habits that we have that we're not walking away from we feel very lost confused and lonely and half the time we feel Feel burdened and it does look like this decision that's going to be coming forward if not already in your life is going to put you know it's going to have an energy of feeling overwhelmed or taxed or burdened to you right and but if you are if you are prioritizing what makes you feel passionate and joy and successful for you right what makes you have your vibrations the highest possible by focusing on all the good things in life then these decisions aren't going to feel taxing or burdened they're going to 
they're going to give you a, a sense of, of achievement and opportunity because you are in that opportunistic view, uh, focal point, right? But if you're not coming from a lens of opportunity, if you're looking at something and it's, and it's feeling overwhelming, it's because other areas of your life are overwhelming because of action steps that need to be taken. Does that make sense? Because everything is meant to feel easy. Everything is meant to be flowing. And if it's not flowing, it's because something is in your life that needs to be eliminated or take a look at and have some awareness into it and just see what needs to be course corrected. Because again, it does look like you're being guided towards your desires. It looks like you're being guided towards a very successful path here. And everything that you're looking to, to have happen is going to come into fruition exactly how you want it to come. You know, travel, uh, success, fulfillment, you know, whatever it is for you in the form of a relationship or the form of a career, it's here for you. But remember, it all starts Aquarius with you being mindful of what it is you need to walk away from. Maybe it is a belief. Maybe it's, um, you know, you're, you've been, uh, you know, paying for something you no longer need to pay for anymore. Or it doesn't feel right anymore. You know, be, be, it, it's just a level of awareness of not continuously doing the same thing, getting the same results and expecting change. You know what I mean? It's about recognizing change needs to happen. Where can I implement change and be the change I want to see? Right. That's, that's the most important thing. And that's, that's the main lesson with that eight of cups there. Okay. Now, here we have mouse spirit coming forward. So tend to the small things. So again, a lot of the times in life, we create uh, this big overwhelming event, right? It's got to go this way. It's got to be perfect. Our expectations are set so high. And then we create such an overwhelming um, energy that we don't even want to move forward or we feel like we can't achieve it. And all it takes is small steps, baby steps. So one step at a time, right? Just tend to those small things. Don't, don't worry about the bigger picture. Just tend to what you can control right now. It's like if you were going to write a book, write down all the things that it would require to write this book and then pick one of those things that you have to do, right? That's it. And the same thing with life. What are the things you have to get done? Write down all the steps that are required with, with this and then just pick whatever action step is resonating at this time. That way it'll simplify things. Because the universe is saying right now that everything is underway and everything is going in the direction exactly how it needs to go. And right now, in order to trust the universe, you have to trust yourself, okay? And in order for you to be able to trust yourself, Aquarius, you have to implement, um, you have to implement habits and, and action steps that make you feel like you can trust yourself. And whenever we have desires, okay, like say losing weight, if we have a desire to lose weight, if we are not actively implementing exercise and diet into our lives to, to support that desire, then we are going to feel like we're out of alignment because we are not, we are not moving in the direction of our desire, right? It makes sense, right? So again, if you want a successful career in business, but you've been doing the same thing day in and day out, you're not learning any new skills around it, you've just been, you know, having the same routine, then no new energy will be brought forward and it won't feel like you're moving in the direction of your desire. You won't feel like you're, you're climbing up the ladder. You see what I mean? So it's always about implementing action. It's always about the what's next. It's always about learning something new or, um, you know, uh, uh, implementing some type of, uh, personal development so that you have more awareness, you have more intuition on the situation. It's always about trying something new again, being that change you want to see, never letting things stay stagnant, never letting things remain the same way, always having some kind of action step towards it. Cause that that is what it is that's going to bring you freedom, okay? Because true freedom comes from the actions we take upon ourselves. Now, in order to live uh, free and 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 feel that sense of independence, we must make sure that we are commanding our energy, right? Because if we do not command our energy and if we do not come from a place of knowing exactly who we are and exactly what we want and then again, applying that action towards it, we are going to maybe hear something someone says or see something on the TV or be in someone's presence and think, wow, they seem like they're really got it going on. They seem like they're doing it big. Maybe I will just mimic their energy because they seem like they know what they're doing. But the thing is that will not resonate with us and we will not feel free. We will feel like we are constantly trying to impress or improve, but not from our own, um, not from our own, you know, um, not from our own desire, right? But from, from, from validation from others. And that will constantly be a pattern that will never go unless you stop and reflect and figure out who it is that you are and what it is that makes you happy. What brings you joy? That's all there is to it. What brings you joy? What brings you passion? What brings you purpose, right? And what's interesting is here we have the beloved card coming forward for you. So this lover's card is most certainly has soulmate energy to it, right? So prepare for your life partner, Aquarius. Romance is returning turning to your relationship and 
also the energy of believing you are lovable. And the only way you're going to believe you are lovable is if you love yourself. And just know the more you love yourself, the more the relationship that you have or the relationship that's going to enter is going to love you as well because it is the vibration that you emit and it's the vibration that that person is going to feel off of you. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Aquarius. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.